Well, we went on a walk through the landscape that inspires me. Now we'll see where I work and have a walk through my studio. After high school, 1982, I spent two years at the U of S taking fine arts. Then I married my husband, Calvin, and we moved, we, I moved to Rockland to his farm. We live about 12 miles south of town. We raised our two children, Brett and Haley. They're all grown up now. And then about two years ago, we renovated this house that's only two miles from town. And we, I got to have this beautiful studio. Nice thing is I have my own sink. Never had a sink in a studio before, so that's wonderful. Nice, some nice counter space. Rockland has been an interesting town. It has, uh, we, has several artists living in town. We have Sandra Lemontang, she's a, she paints animals and figurative and landscapes and mostly acrylic and watercolor. We have Neil Jones and he does wildlife and figures in a kind of a impressionist style. And just lately we have Kimi Sue Goodtrack who's opened up the Lakota Gallery and she is a Lakota lady who paints traditional First Nations artwork. She has a gift shop and she's gracious enough to let us uh, show and sell our work in her gallery. Then for about 10 or 11 years, we had an Arts in the Park. And that was a lot of fun. We'd have a one day art fair, but we, we were not able to do it anymore. All through the years, well, I've lived at the farm, I've done artwork, but in 2003 and 2004, I went to the Kenderdine campus at Emma Lake and took some classes with Dagan Lindner. And these are a couple of paintings I created after I came back. And this is when I really started into this style. I like working in oil paint. And then about 2010, I started doing these series of paintings. I went with residents who lived around the Grasslands National Park and area, and I had them show me their favorite place. And I did 10 pen paintings in all. This is one I did, went with Frank Linthicum. It's called McCray Ranch. This one's called Weatherall Creek. And I went with my friend, Louise Papesco, Frank's daughter. Now this is a painting that's a few years old. I always do a strong outline with my paintings. A lot of line and contour shapes. This is a newer painting. This is after my cataract surgery, when I could start to see this textures more, and I really added that into my paintings. And this is a new painting. It's still drawing, I'm gonna to have to touch it up. I love the prairie lilies, they're so bright, such strong color. I always wait every year for them to flower. So when I did a little different style, I kind of loosened up a bit. I started out doing it more realistic and then I didn't like it. So I really kind of tried to loosen up more with this one. This is a little station where I, I work on some painting. I used to do a lot of encaustics and pastels, but now I've been working in gouache. It's just a good way to experiment with different mediums. And then I don't have to worry. Sometimes I quite often I ruin them and I throw them in a pile and they end up in the garbage. But I get to look at this beautiful scenery while I'm here. I've been lucky enough to have a few group shows and solo shows. My last one I had was the Cherniak Art Gallery. Bill Cherniak was a really uh, great promoter of arts in Saskatchewan, especially for us Southern artists. And 
I had my own solo show and Bill purchased a painting for the gallery. We're all gonna miss him now that he's passed away. I keep taking more classes at the U of S. I've done some history online and lately I've been taking some art classes. I took digital imagery and I've taken extended media and cartoon making. And I've really been experimenting with digital art. I would do it on my iPad with a program called Procreate, which I really like. It's easy to use and you can do a lot with it. You can create some amazing artwork. I bought a printer so I could print out these, these pictures. I have a lot of storage. I so was lucky enough to be part of the Mind the Gap show with the Dunlop Art Gallery. Um, one of my paintings was selected from the Shirley Gallery. It's called Top of the World. It's one of my Grasslands National Park paintings. And that was a real privilege to be included in that show for emerging artists in Saskatchewan. I have a lot of books. Just to look around. Enjoy. I have nice storage for all my stuff. It's really a pleasure to have such a beautiful studio. And this is where I work and do my current paintings. I'm just working on this one. I started this summer. I do a lot of experimenting right on the canvas. I don't know if that's always a good idea, but but I do. And I don't, I know if a painting's really bothering me and it's just irritating me, I know it's not done yet. And when I feel calm and, and at rest, then I know I finished and I'm satisfied. This one I'm working on, I'm doing a little different, trying to do a tonal underpainting and then try putting color over top. I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but I'm working on it. Well. That's my beautiful studio. It's a pleasure to work in this. It's been a pleasure to show you my artwork and where I work. Continue to support the arts in Saskatchewan. We really appreciate it. Thank you.